In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the modern art uh, Photoshop action. So firstly jump into Photoshop and we want to open up a photo to work with. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this photo here. Now there's a couple of things you need to check before uh, running the action. Firstly uh, your layer needs to be set as the background. So for example if you open up a photo and you know it's called something else, just select the layer and go to layer, new, background from layer and that'll set it as the background layer. Next you just want to make sure your photo's in RGB color mode otherwise it won't work so go to image mode and just double check it's RGB color mode. So next up we want to load our action so go to the window menu select actions um, top right hand corner icon click that load actions and select the modern art.acn file. So to twirl that folder open you've got two actions here um, I'll explain what they both do. So the first one, modern art, that's our main action. That's going to create the effect. So to make this action work, firstly we need to create uh, a new layer called brush. Now this is where we're going to brush um, where we want the effect to appear on our photo. So make sure it's all lowercase. Uh, if any letter is uppercase, it won't work. So now what you want to do is grab yourself a brush. Um, I find that using a soft brush creates the best effects, but you can experiment with all uh, different types of brushes. So hit B on the keyboard, uh, right click, make sure you're using a soft brush or experiment with other ones. And you can use any color, doesn't matter. So I'll just use uh, purple. And what you want to do is just brush uh, on top of your photo, wherever you want the effect to appear. So I'll just do that. Yeah. You don't need to be too precise, um, best to just experiment and see what you come up with. Uh, so that's all you really need to do. Um, so what you're doing now is just select the modern art action and click play. Uh, and when I click play, the action will run for about between you know 30 and 40 seconds. It also depends on how big your photo is. So if it goes you know over a minute, uh, just let it run. Uh, okay, so I'll play this action and I'll fast forward the video. Okay, so the action's finished and here's our result. So let's just minimize the actions panel and have a look at our uh, layer panel here and see what the action's done for us. So you'll see on the very top here we have our uh, original area that we brushed into and the folder below has our effect. So you can see that there. So if you run the action and you decide you want to run it again to, to see if you get a better result just delete this folder and click play on the action again okay even if you uh, even if you run the action in the same brushed area you're going to get slightly different results so that's a cool thing about uh, this action okay so modern art folder Oop, turn that off let's go inside um, this top layer here original color what that'll do if you turn that on uh, by default it's turned off, but it will overlay the original colors of the photo. Uh, by default I've kind of just blurred all the colors out, so uh, it mutes the colors a bit more just to help create the effect, but um, you can easily overlay the original colors by turning that one uh, on. Uh, this one here, reveal original photo, you notice that it's turned on, but if I turn it off it does nothing. Um, what you need to do here is use the mask. So if you grab a white brush and you brush into this mask. So if, if you look on his chin, if I brush here, it will bring back original details in the photo. So you see his eye. See that? So maybe you don't like this little uh, white spot near his uh, on his forehead, so you can just brush brush that out. Okay, so that's what that layer does. Sketch lines one and two. These by default are turned off. Um, you can just go ahead and turn those on. Basically they um, outline the edges of your photo uh, with some subtle lines. So if I move this one out to the open here, you can see uh, the effect there. And again with this one, uh, it's a bit more abstract, sort of like a cross hatch effect. What I like to do with these is you can duplicate this layer and you know you just move them around like that. Duplicate again. You can create a really um, artistic look. Okay, now there are all these yellow layers. This is um, these are the main layers that basically build the effects. So if I turn these off, you'll see that we're just left with a, 
um, a pencil outline uh, of our photo. So if you turn these on, you can see the effects stack uh, and, oh, and build the overall look. Okay, down the bottom here, edge outline. If I move this one out, you can see that that it's kind of like the sketch lines effect, but this one really tries to focus on the edges of your photo um, and darkens them. And this layer above, by default, it's turned off. It's called Edge Outline Wavy. If I turn this one on, you'll see that, uh, I'll move it out here. You'll see it's basically a duplicate of the Edge Outline layer, but it's added a bit of a, uh, it's got a bit of a wavy effect to it. So when you overlap it on the Edge Outline, it sort of creates some um, irregular, uh, outlines around the area that you brush, so that can help um, with the overall effects. It's just one to experiment with. Um, background color, you can change that if you want. Um, you're not confined to white, so I can just um, grab a red, for example. And that'll do. And that's really all there is to that uh, effect. So you can just uh, experiment, you can even duplicate these layers. Um, move them around to create more overlays. You can even experiment with different blend modes. Uh, I want to add. Um, so you can really create some cool effects in no time at all, really. Um, okay, so back into the uh, actions panel, I've created this action called Grade It. Basically, it adds some um, some finishing touches to your design. Uh, it'll firstly it'll flatten the image, so make sure that you're happy with your your design. And when you are, just click play on grade it. Okay, so uh, in the layer panel here, right down the bottom, it's created this layer called contrast and sharpening, and the opacity is 50%. So I'll bring this to zero into 100 you can see the effect, it really just makes it pop. So it's up to you um, how much of that you want to apply. By default it's at 50, so just remember that. This looks pretty good up high, so I'll leave it there. Uh, up to the top, increase saturation. You can use this slider here to um, yeah, adjust the saturation. And I've just set up a few color options here. You can just tick these on and off um, to create some different looks. You can also turn on multiple uh, layers here as well. Okay, so that's all there is uh, really to the action.